On August 15, 1977, a strange signal from the constellation Sagittarius was received by the Big Ear Radio Telescope. The signal, known as the WA signal, reached an intensity up to 30 times higher than the usual signals and had a duration of 72 seconds. The WA signal is, among all the strange signals received up to now, the one that has the greatest likelihood of having been emitted by intelligent extraterrestrial beings, despite its origin still being uncertain to this day. In a vast universe, 40 billion years old and containing 500 billion galaxies, science is convinced that there must exist, or must have existed, extraterrestrial intelligence. State-of-the-art radio telescopes track the sky day and night, year after year, in search of any sign of extraterrestrial intelligent life. Nevertheless, in 2009, everything changed. That year, NASA launched the Kepler satellite into space. And thanks to it, we have found thousands of Earth-like planets where conditions for life might be possible. This has meant, undoubtedly, a total revolution in the search for extraterrestrial intelligent life. The chances of finding it, I think, are good. And if that happens, it'll happen in the next 20 years, depending on the financing. What will the first contact be like? What could human beings say to another intelligent species? What introductory message can we compose about human beings, that species that inhabits one of the edges of the universe, and who have developed enough to wonder if there is anyone else out there, or to try to find them? There have been a few symbolic transmissions to other worlds. In 1977, the most elaborate and comprehensive message to date the sounds of the Earth was launched into space. It's not a simple task to ponder our first introduction to an extraterrestrial intelligence, and the even more complicated question of how to compose that message to make it understood. How we would say something meaningful to another civilization, uh, it is going to be one of the most tremendous intellectual challenges humankind has ever faced. And that is a dynamic conversation that we're having now in the science community. Should we transmit? If we do, who should speak for Earth? What should they say? In what language? How? It's a controversial topic. No less than the cosmologist Stephen Hawking warned, do not transmit to ET. When he said that in 2010, his concern was that aliens may invade Earth to strip mine our planet, taking our rare resources. A first contact could be close. The question is, do we really want them to find us? What will these forms of life be like? What will their aims be? Is anybody out there? <laughs>